So three hours and above target, that's all it took? Just. I guess. I guess I should have slowed down because it was just kind of at the at the brink of the above target, but yeah. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you're like, right, you're in the above target, but you three yeah. hours. What did, did you just hit the button after three hours and that was it or what? I flagged, like for the first 90, I flagged maybe 15 questions and okay. reviewed those 15. I didn't review any of the other 75. Okay. And then for the second, like 110, I flagged maybe 15 again or 20 and That's reviewed awesome. them, didn't look at anything else and figured I would just go with my gut if I, <laughs> and take a, take a plunge and hit the, I'm done. So, it's all right. So <laughs> that's pretty good. So you're done yeah. in three-ish hours. That's not bad. I mean, yep. cost efficiency or time efficiency, I think you win <laughs> whatever awards there are in the world, you win them. So, uh, so that's good. And the cooler thing is from you did CAPM and PMP in about two-ish weeks, right? Yeah, I think I wrote the, the CAPM 10 days ago. Okay. So, yeah, it was tight together, but I think that was a good way to do it because I, yeah, you know, that was I had good. a lot of the information in my brain. Yeah, you were already set up and then a little bit different. So how, how was the CAPM different than the PMP as far as like question styles and stuff like that? Yeah, the, the CAPM was a lot more, uh, like there was no situational questions really that I remember. It was mm -hmm. a lot of like what what input, you know, or which is not, which of the following is not an input to this process or yeah. like a lot more of the, I guess, factual um, information from the yep. PMBOK. And then this one was, I noticed a lot of, like there was a ton of questions on change. Yep. And then a lot of questions, like what should they, the project manager have done to avoid this? Like there yeah. must've been like 20 at least of those type of questions. Oh, wow. So, yeah. That's, that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Now, as you reflect over this last 10 ish, nine ish days, uh, that we've had together, uh, you did a ton of work. I mean, and, uh, is there anything that jumped out at you that like helped you out or, uh, what was the you. process like? <laughs> Talk me about what, what helped. Yeah. You helped. Okay, um, well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you totally don't work on me. your own. We've got a couple times, but other than that, uh, well, it was all it was just the way you explained everything really, really helped me. Like, as you know, I started with the audio book and that's when things like I tried a bunch of things before that. And that's when mm. things really started to click. Yeah. And then once I did the, I started using your simulator and found that like super helpful too. And just kept, you know, testing myself. And then once cool. I got into the um, seven day accelerator, like that was so helpful because everything was broken down with like energy and enthusiasm and relatable mm -hmm. examples that you know are digestible and simplified so like when i started with the pembok i like literally like opened it and was like oh my goodness this I, i'm going to be certified <laughs> when i'm like 75 years old if i have to sit through and like read this because you know that's just not my style um yeah. so i tried a bunch of different things but yeah i really found that you know, the way you broke down the information was the most helpful thing that's, for that's, me. That's really, really good. Now, like we met a couple times before just because I wanted to, I mean, it's really fun to kind of follow a journey through seven days. And, mm -hmm. you know, we worked some questions, we did some other stuff, which was cool, but you did a lion's share of the work yourself and then coaching calls and such. Um, now, as far as videos goes and, and those things, were there any videos that you found or, or the content of the videos that you found effective in helping you prepare for those situational questions? Like, was there anything there just that, that helped you out? In respect? Oh yeah, they were all really helpful. I found like the first one that I watched because I had kind of reached out to you and said like, hey, I heard you mention like your seven process flows decoded video, mm -hmm. like can I see that? And that was kind of where you said it's on I think it was day five, like check it out. So I watched that and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is super helpful. Mm -hmm. And then I watched it, I watched it three times. Like I watched that again last night, just cool. kind of as I didn't do a lot of studying yesterday, but I watched that last night kind of as one last, you know, let That's it cool. sink in <laughs> even more. Um, That's good. But That's all the good. videos, like the John stories, I'd listened to those in the audio book and then I watched the videos too. And, um, and then just kind of the way you break things down in the videos with pictures and That's cool. I, yeah, I found them all helpful. Like I was getting crashing and fast tracking mixed up and that was like, I think a three minute video. I was like, Oh, now I get it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's the cool thing that like, as we kind of unchained ourselves or me, I unchained myself from like, I don't need to talk a long time. I talk a long time normally. And why don't we just talk mm -hmm. for short times? And so those like little three minutes where someone's like, I don't understand fast tracking crashing. All right, sweet. Well, here's two minutes, three minutes or whatever. I don't understand yes. this. Like, all right, sweet. That's how I understand it. And so, yeah, hitting them with those things are really effective. Um, that's cool. Uh, what does John look like in your mind? I always like to ask people. I think he's like a, a cool guy. I don't know. I picture him. Uh, he's a cool picture, guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I picture him as like a young, maybe in his 30s, young professional. I think that, fair, that fairly yeah. works. I know the real John. He's, he's not exactly like the, the actual John, but he's, he is a cool guy. That's yeah. the inspiration. So yeah, no one's nice. ever met the John. Um, but yeah, that's cool. Um, so what are you going to do now with all this free time? Oh. I don't know. I've kind of like enjoyed studying and it's given me, cause I've been off work with COVID and I've got my kids home. And so it's given me like a brain, a challenge for my brain. So mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I think I might start something else. Okay. I wish you I w let me know when you've got agile because I want to do that next. <laughs> It'll be soon enough. It'll be soon enough. I just gotta, I just gotta put it all together. So, uh, yeah, yeah we're just gonna knock this thing down. And then, uh, yeah, I got Six Sigma and Lean and stuff. If you want to do that, it's a little bit different. I don't teach it, but I'm, I, I, I'm involved with it, so it's good. Um, but I do teach it in other ways. Uh, okay. So <laughs> that's cool. Um, anything big lessons that you, like if someone's in your spot and like maybe they came from like the CAPM, obviously you've proven that you can go CAPM to PMP in a row. What was the logic? Just what, I know why, I vaguely remember why, but what was the logic that you followed in saying like, I want to do CAPM, then PMP? What was... Why did you do that? Obviously you passed PMP with flying colors, but why did you go in that order? Well, at first I was just going to get the PMP, mm -hmm. but then I was like, well, why wouldn't I get the CAPM too? Like I, I'm studying all the PMBOK. It's a lot of the same stuff. So yeah. I was like, well, and then I can kind of shake up the nerves and get used to, you know, the PMI's testing structure and I might as well test myself, see how well I do at that. And, you know, when I hit submit on that test, I was kind of like, did I pass? Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I ended up getting above target in 12 out of 13 um, areas. So that gave me confidence to be like, okay, I think I, if I just study for like another week, I should be ready or a week yeah. or two should be ready for the PMP. And I figured I might as well get both credentials instead of just one when I'm putting the work in anyway. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. I love like the progression and the discipline that you did and getting it done. Cause I think it does challenge it in the mind in a different way where you see mm -hmm. you have to go much more granular in the, in like the inputs output side of the neighborhood uh, yeah. instead of just like the flows and things like that. Now, <clears throat> who was your coach? You met a couple of times with the coaches. Who was your individual coach? Was it, did you meet with Rachel or who did you, you didn't go? No, or, or, I didn't, didn't have go. a coach. Did you just yeah. have you? Just, just you. me. All right. Well, that, that, you know, technically I am the coach. Yeah. So I'm the coach of the coaches. So, yeah. uh, yeah. So we met, a, you know, most, most days. So that was good. Uh, that's yep. cool. Um, yeah. I mean, is there anything for people that are out there kind of like you that you would, you would like recommend they do or, or what would you say to them to kind of like, uh, get them going or, or to, to give them kind of an idea of, you know, what's possible out there? Yeah, I would just say like if it was me starting over, knowing what I know now, like I, I would have just started with you, and because that's what really made everything make sense to me. So, cool. I just would say to people that are struggling or in a spot where they're not really sure how to get through all the material and make sense of it all, like you know the way that you teach it really breaks it down into like manageable chunks that make sense in a way that's fun and um, cool yeah like i i did the audiobook then i did the, the accelerator so i think the accelerator really pulls everything together and if you want to be disciplined and just commit to it then do that yeah um, that's cool yeah. i think the accelerator is less content than the ebook or the audiobook like i think it's yeah. like shorter like like as i look back of like the time elapsed but you know, I was long winded in the first one, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. So they all, they all work and they're all different like modalities and I can't say things the same way twice. So they're all taught a little bit different. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, did you have any questions? I mean, like you f flew through the questions obviously in three hours. Were there anything that like really threw you as far as like, 
there was no tech issues. There was, was there anything like that? Nope. I had no tech issues this time. Well, that's good. Was good. Yeah, it was smooth. I took the break. Um, at, after 90 questions, we get the 10 minute break. So I took that and um, awesome. yeah, I had about four yeah. minutes left and was like, okay, let's just get this done. <laughs> <laughs> that's really and, good. Yeah. That's, but that's no, good. the questions I was expecting them to be like long, longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was kind of preparing myself for that. Like, you know, a few sentences and some of them were, but a lot of them were just kind of like one, one or one and a half lines so yeah. that kind of made it easier, I guess, to just get through it. You didn't get lost in the weeds too often with like a bunch of extra wording and stuff thrown in there, but there was definitely some questions like that. That's very awesome. That's cool. Well, I am very proud of you. I think you did amazing, obviously. Uh, above tar you're technically above target with CAPM and PMP. I don't know many people that have done that. So Aww. you got that going for you. Um, do you think that going through all the content and stuff has made you like a different project manager or a person that leads things? Like any kind of realizations that have come to you from, from, from the study process that you might carry on as you? Oh yeah, for do? sure. Yeah, I learned a ton um, that I can apply to my job. And there's between four and six other people on my team that I know want to get their PMP certification. Nice. So I know that what I've learned, um, I want to help them. They're a yeah. smart bunch that um, I think would really benefit from, you know, this course and getting their PMP too. So I want to help go. them. And yeah, definitely tons of stuff that I can apply in my job. That's well, that's awesome. Well, if you want to, if you want to be a coach for me, uh, you can do it. Uh, you know, you can take a group of people and coach them. So just let me know. Oh, thank you. you. can definitely do it. You got, you got the, the knowledge. So, uh, so I think you have a, you know, I really, really appreciate you working with us and it was, it was fun. I know it was short, but it was still, you know, that's the goal. We'll get through as quickly as possible without as much pain or as any pain. So I think yeah. we, we got there. So um, thanks again. I'm really proud of you and I uh, hope you have a good day. Aww, so thanks so much for your help. It was awesome. All right. All right. Cool. All right. I'll talk to you later. See you. All right. Take care. Yes, Bye. Bye.